it's April of prerequisite beauty welcome and please hit the subscribe button to ensure that you get notifications when I upload videos Prerequisite Beauty is a platform where I focus on beauty both interior and exterior because our interior is a direct reflection of our exterior and we need them both to be flawless. So today episode, I know I've been MIA a few weeks. I know some followers missed me because I missed you all, but I've been just focusing on health. Listen, I've been, I got a bike and I've been riding my bike 4.5 miles. At first I started, first two weeks I started riding it every day. I was doing every day 4.5 miles. So now I'm doing five days on, one day's off, and you know, that it only takes me 30 minutes to do the 4.5 miles with the aftermath. I mean, I gotta get ready, all that, but still no excuse. I'm still definitely dedicated and happy to have my YouTube channel up and running. Well, that coincides with my topic for today how to start your own YouTube channel. A lot of people ask me about starting their own YouTube channel and I just tell them just to go for it. So I'm just gonna list some steps that help me personally start my own YouTube channel. I would never thought I would be here. I'm thankful and grateful that I've arrived, but if you if I thought about this last year saying I'm having my own YouTube channel, I'd have been like, no, I'm not. I'm definitely not. Because I definitely don't like um, platforms where I have to speak. But here I am now. But when you're doing your YouTube channel or you starting out as a YouTube channel, you need a name, of course, and you need to figure out what your niche is. Like, mine's is beauty. So, you know, I focus on skincare, makeup, and I focus on interior beauty too, such as, you know, positive affirmations and anything that's positive that you can do internally. That's what I focus on. Then when you're doing your YouTube channel, you need to make sure you be fearless. Don't be scared. Cause it get easier over time. The first, my first episode, I probably was super nervous, and probably my second one too. But it gets easier, and you get more comfortable over time. I will also recommend that you plan out your topics. You need at least two to three videos per week, at least two, so you can build up your following, and your followers will go and look for your video. So you need to make sure you have a presence, and make sure you record your video at least two times a week. Then also, I, um, I know when I started my video, I started watching other YouTubers who were similar and had a similar platform that I had, just to get ideas as far as what they're doing. Not necessarily to copy it, but just to get ideas of you know what people are looking for or how I can develop my own channel uniquely. But you also can just watch people and see what they're doing, and that's a good thing. I also create an outline for my topic. Sometimes I'm always looking down. I probably edit those out, but I create an outline because sometimes you can get off topic and you just want to make sure that you're staying on topic by creating an outline. You need to also get an editing software. So I have Apple. So I use Apple editing software, which is iMovie and it's awesome for me. So I just go and edit it because you know, sometimes when you're doing your videos, you recognize that you do, like my thing is I do, um, and, and I smack my lips. I never realized how many times I smack my lips. So with my editing software, I'm able to edit that out, but I also try to practice and not say and, um, and smack my lips, but you wanna get a software where you can edit those things out. And then also you wanna make sure that you are, maybe like if you're like with me when I'm applying my makeup, I kinda of make it faster a little bit, so the video won't be as long, but you wanna just edit it and tailor it to whatever it is that you feel is best for your channel. And then not only for your channel, for your viewers. So another thing I used was Fiverr too. So when I started off, I went to Fiverr. I did my, you know, my intro and outro video. I had them create that. I had them create my YouTube banner as well as my YouTube profile picture. I also go to Fiverr. At first I was doing my own thumbnails, but it became kind of a hassle for me. So I have Fiverr do my thumbnails. I also have Fiverr assist me with other things as far as like marketing, um, I have to create flyers and things like that. That's for my, uh, necessarily for my YouTube page, but for Instagram. So Fiverr is a good resource, non-expensive resource that you could tap into to help you flourish in business-wise as well as YouTube. I, I say Fiverr, Fiverr, Fiverr. That's really good for me. We covered, you need to make sure you have your name, create a niche, whatever your niche is, just is your gift and you want to share it with people on YouTube, whatever your niche may be. Be fearless, you know, don't be scared, don't be nervous. 
I mean, you're gonna feel like you're scared and nervous, but it get easier over time. Trust. Plan your topics. Make sure you create an outline for your topics. That's so you can stay on topic and you won't be long-winded or forget what you want to talk about. It's always good to have stuff planned out. Get an editing software. If you already have Apple products, you should already have iMovie. But if you don't have Apple, I'm not sure what Windows use, but make sure you get editing software because that's important. You need to cut out things that you may say mistakenly or even pause. You just never know what uh, some things always go on in the background whenever you're doing your video. So with that editing software, you're able to cut that out. I recommend it, like I said, watch other YouTubers to get, you know, just ideas as far as, you know, what's current, what's trending. Produce your content two to three times a week. You want to be consistent. I know with me, like I said, I haven't been, I haven't produced a video in like two weeks almost. And I was missing my videos, but I had so many things that are going on, but I had to stop making excuses and just keep and move forward. So that's why, of course, I'm back. I was never going to not be back. But I had to really sit down and be like, look, today is the day you're going to do a YouTube video today. You've been MIA. I committed to this. This is my passion. I enjoy creating the YouTube videos. You know, you just got to create a schedule and stay on task. This can be, you know, with life, you know, things happen, but it's okay. Just, you may not make it today, but set it as a task tomorrow and then just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. Um, you'll find people supporting you. You may not find people supporting you, but that's okay because you support you. And you know, you just have to just put yourself out there. And then also, like I said, Fiverr is a good resource. Never ever give up on your dreams whatever it is that's out here. People need people to direct them and assist them with different topics. YouTube is a perfect platform for you to get out and discuss a topic because you never know what people are searching for. People always need information and YouTube is usually their go-to. So whatever your niche is, somebody will be looking for it. That's it that I have today. I'm gonna do a few makeup videos this week, so I'm really excited about that. So tune in for that. Be blessed, be happy, and be grateful.